Welcome back to Good Morning Football. Aaron Rodgers, of course, has not been shy about the Packers drafting his future replacement in Jordan Love, all that entails, what it meant to him, what it didn't mean to him. Yesterday, however, Rodgers did tell the media that he had kept Love in the loop during his uncertain offseason. After all, Rodgers knows what it is like to back up a future Hall of Famer. Take a look. I didn't, uh, you know, hold things from him. I let him know where I was at mentally and what I was thinking about. Um, and, and hopefully he appreciated that. I just felt like that's what I would want in that situation, just to hear from from the guy. And also, there's a, a love and an, a, an appreciation and a friendship there, just like it was with me and Brett. So I wanted to make sure I checked in with him and, and let him know I was thinking about him. And, and uh, that was important for me. Um, and it's not going to change. You know, I, I have a lot of respect and, and love for, for Jordan. And, and I understand it's got to be tough, you know, what he went through. I went through it for, you know, three years, two years in the offseason, you know, going in 06 and 07, I was the guy the entire offseason, you know, going through quarterback school and, and going through most of the OTAs, taking all the reps, and then here comes Farby coming back, and obviously I'm back on the bench. So I, thankfully I went through that, and I can understand a little bit about what he's going through. So I just try to keep that in mind the entire time. I've got a lot of love for Jordan. That's a nice little tagline there. It seems, Kyle, like he can separate Jordan Love the person from the frustration he feels about the pick that was made. Yeah, and, and going back to those 06, 07 years that he referenced, I remember once Justin Timberlake hosted the ESPYs, and he stopped in the middle of his monologue, and he's like, where is Aaron Rodgers? Where is And he goes out, and he just hugs him. They just, they just stand there, and everybody laughs, and like, because he was just dangling on a hook. And I, I think this is pretty simple. I think sometimes as a parent, uh, you try to repeat what your parents did when they're raising you, but other times you do the exact opposite of what your parents did when they're raising you. I do that all the time, and I tell my parents that. Thank you for showing me what not to do. This echoes massively with 06, 07, and there's been a lot of revisionist history, I think, on the Favre-Rogers relationship, and it's great now, and it's always far v this and far v that, and good for them. Favre was a jerk. It's documented, it's written about, he's admitted it. It was terrible. Like, it, he's literally said, it's not my job to prepare Aaron Rodgers, which, fine, is his prerogative. But I think it's very important for Rodgers not to do that to Jordan Love, A, because he is a good teammate, and B, because that's like there's a legacy thing here. Let it be known mm -hmm. that when this happened, I was reaching out to him, I was caring about him, I was the teammate, I was the dad that Brett, that Farvey wasn't. And I think that's how this thing is going to play out. I don't know how terribly relevant Jordan Love is right now, Peter, on the football side of things, but I think when we talk about this in, in Good Morning Football Season 25, we'll make, remember when Rodgers was great to love? Yeah. That's how it should go. Yeah, and, and it's like, you know, I remember that, so I want to pass it forward or whatever yeah. it is. But, like, gosh, Jordan Love just got first-team snaps for yeah. three months and got a chance to show Matt LaFleur what he has, got a chance to learn the offense, got a chance to be a leader out there. This could be a blessing in disguise, but don't get it twisted. I don't think Rodgers was thinking about Jordan Love one second of the day during his time in Hawaii and playing the ukulele. This is all about Rodgers. This was like, we need, now look, can he text him and keep him afloat? Yes, but let's not spin this into the great mentor, Aaron Rodgers, because mm -hmm. Jordan Love was in limbo also. He thought he might have been the guy. I think in the end, it's going to all wash out okay, and they are tight, obviously, as we see, and Love has said nothing but glowing things about Rodgers. But I do think... For a moment there, Love had a chance to say to the rest of the team, like, if it does go off the rails, mm -hmm. I could be, but I don't think that was like a favor from Rodgers. I think that was just Love having to step up and do his own thing. I, um, this offseason was about Aaron Rodgers and his future. I don't think it was about, hey, I'm going to do a favor to Jordan Love and kind of pass this along, give him those opportunities that I got. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how it all ends up, but Jordan mm -hmm. Love's going to be in his third year of his NFL career next year, and Aaron Rodgers might be on another team. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all over again very quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't think that uh, Aaron Rodgers was standing by the waterfall and right before he took the picture, he's like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me call Jordan. Hey, Jordan, you good, man? Yeah, all right, just checking on you. All right, love you. Bye. See you, See you at the end of the summer. Um, no, I, I don't think so either, but I do love the fact that he has come out and he's, he's talked about it and he's open about it. You know, uh -huh. Kyle, you mentioned uh, – Brett Favre and how their relationship started off really sour. But then we found out later that they actually communicate and they're close now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and you would you would hope that it was like that in the very beginning for Aaron Rodgers, but it's documented that it wasn't. You know, and, and the same thing kind of applies to Aaron Rodgers and Jordan. And speaking of Jordan, I'll get back to Jordan Love, but Michael Jordan, he spoke at Kobe's funeral. And mm -hmm. I remember him talking about Kobe and 
a lot of us were thinking, wow, they were closer than I thought. Yeah. I thought Jordan didn't like Kobe. They never talked about it. Yeah, never yeah. talked about it, but he was very emotional. It seems like they were a lot closer than we actually um, perceived they were. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to Aaron Rodgers, I think it just quiets all of the narratives that are out there that Aaron Rodgers is selfish. He can care less about his teammates. Um, and on the flip side, it makes us believe that he's a little bit more empathetic to what Jordan Love is going through because he's been through it. Uh, Aaron Rodgers oftentimes gets painted as this guy that can care less about the team atmosphere. You know, even this summer, I've come out and I've looked in the camera and said, yeah. Aaron, man, show up. What are you doing, bro? Like, you're getting paid a ton of money. You need to be there for your guys because they are there for the team. Mm -hmm. But I think when he speaks, it, it, it allows me to kind of walk back my words and say, you know what? He was more in tune with his teammates and what was going on than I originally thought. I think the far thing helps how he acts, Triggs. I think the fact that he's an MVP, the fact that he's playing the best football of his life still, the fact that his future is in his own hands sort of takes away any insecurity that would maybe play into not treating Jordan Love well. And I think it goes a long way with Packers fans who, if this ends in some weird way and Jordan Love is the guy, he helped him. Yeah, he yeah. left him in a good position. There are weird connections. Obviously, they have the Packers connection, but they also are represented by the same agency, Love mm -hmm. and Rodgers. Mm -hmm. Like, they also both have a connection with LaFleur on a personal level like there's so many different ways and i it's such a delicate thing to thread one note it sounds like rogers will not be the next host of jeopardy so we mm. can cross that lit off Shut our up. list it sounds like it's going to go to a few other folks as finalists mm. so rogers can focus on football or at least we can focus talking about rogers mm. mm. lavar burton in there i, I don't know. The, Mike Richards, they're saying, yeah, the who is the executive oh, yeah? the the show guy. is yeah. the leader, but there is a big LeVar Burton fan base that is letting their words felt. Oh. And Le More Le on wow. Deadline Live with Peter Schrager. After this, we'll be back on Good Morning Football. Football tonight, people, hours away. Not Steelers, like Cowboys, tons of history to play a game uh, of mixed back. Oh, mixed back trivia? Here we go. We're bringing it in. Cowboys. We got trivia, guys. How's the Dr. Oz Nation? They're still out there for him?